Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're preparing for the FE exam, it's really important that you guys show up every day and study consistently. But I know many of you guys are juggling work, family, and other responsibilities, which makes it really hard to stay consistent. And the goal here is to study daily and more importantly, make each study session productive. And to achieve this, you guys need a solid daily plan. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. We'll cover five key steps that you should include in your daily study routine to maximize your time and better prepare for the FE exam. Oh yeah, Tip number one, time block. Before you guys start preparing for the FE exam, I recommend taking a piece of paper and writing down all the activities that you are currently involved in. If your schedule looks too busy, ask yourself, can you postpone or pause any of the activities until after you have passed your FE exam? Trying to juggle too many responsibilities while preparing for the FE exam can be overwhelming. So simplifying your schedule will help. So for example, your schedule might include work, family time, exercise, and studying for the FE exam. Note how that feels more manageable. Now, once you guys have listed all your activities, go ahead and open a calendar and block out time for each one. So let's say you work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and you also have a commute. So you might block out 7 to 8 a.m. for commuting, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. for work, and then 5 to 6 p.m. for commuting home. After that, you guys can fit in some exercise. Now, you don't really need to go to the gym to exercise if you want to save time. There are many workouts that you can do at home, but exercising after work and before studying has so much benefits. So one, many of us feel really tired after a long day of work and we don't really feel like studying, but oftentimes exercise can actually give us an energy boost. And then second, studies have shown that students who do exercise after studying tend to retain information better and perform better academically than those who don't. After exercising, you probably want to grab dinner and then start studying. So for example, you could block 6 to 7.30 p.m. for workouts and dinner and then 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. for FE exam study time. Now, if you have a family, you can work out and prepare dinner together. I've had students who've done that and this just helps you balance family time with your routine. And so basically guys here, the idea is that you are being more intentional with your time. You're not going to really waste a lot of time being on social media or doing other things that you're not supposed to because you blocked out every time on your calendar and you're being more intentional. Now, if you are a morning person, your schedule might look a bit different, but the key idea is the same. Now, the other thing guys about time blocking is that it removes the need to rely on willpower. Relying on just willpower, it's not going to be effective and it's not going to help you guys stay consistent because willpower, it's like a battery. When you wake up, it's full, but as you make decisions throughout the day, you are using that battery. You're using the willpower. And so by the time you get home from a long day of work, you're not going to really have the willpower to show up and study for your FE exam. A lot of times you're going to skip it. Some days you might feel a little bit motivation or you might exercise and get that boost of energy, but a lot of times you're going to want to skip studying. Okay. And so you can't really rely on willpower, but instead you have to have systems in place that's going to help you to show up. And one of those systems is time blocking. Okay. So if you block out, let's say two hours every single day in your calendar to study, study for the FE exam, if you do that every single day after two weeks, you guys are not going to even think about it. You're just going to show up and study because it's in your calendar. So focus on putting systems in place that's going to help you guys stay consistent, be productive, and eventually pass your FE exam. Now, if you guys want to learn more about time blocking, I actually talked about this more in depth in another video. So you guys can check it out in the description box below. Tip number two, plan the day before. You guys need to create your to-do list a day before your study session. You want your study time to be as productive as possible. You're busy and you don't have a lot of time to study. And so when you block out two hours in your calendar, those two hours should be dedicated to learning and studying and not trying to figure out what topics to cover, what problems to work on, or what resources I need to use, right? 
This is why preparation is so important if you guys want to pass your FE exam faster. And this is what we talked about in the previous video. So if you guys haven't checked them out, make sure that you guys do. I helped you guys come up with a plan that's going to help you pass your FE exam faster, right? You need a plan to make you productive as your study sessions more productive. You need a plan so that you can learn efficiently and retain information better. This is how you're going to pass your FE exam faster. Think of it, guys, like training for a marathon, right? Let's say you want to run a marathon. You wouldn't just show up on a race day and start running without actually having a plan, without training for it, right? Maybe a couple months before that, you'll start running a couple miles and maybe you'll do a couple half marathons before you actually run the marathon. And then the same principle applies for the FE exam. You need a well-structured plan that works so you can pass your FE exam. Now, what should you guys include in your to-do list? Okay, this is a very important question, and we're gonna cover that in tip number three and four. Now, before we do that, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and it allows us to create more contents like this to help you guys pass your FE exam. Tip number three: be specific. What exactly are you going to study? Which resources will you use and which problems will you focus on? Make sure that you guys are being very specific when you're creating your to-do list. Try to include all the problems that you're going to study and then also the resources that you're going to use. To make your study sessions more productive, try to take note when you guys are watching lectures. And also try not to watch long lectures as those tend to be ineffective, boring, and difficult to retain. So try to watch short lectures, but if you just have access to long lectures, try to engage with the material and ask questions and take notes, okay? This is going to help you guys learn the information faster. Now, when you are solving problems, always attempt the problems first before you check your solution. And if you get the problem wrong, write next to it, what you did wrong and what's the correct way of solving this problem this is really going to help you guys learn the information and then not redo the same mistake okay and then when you review your notes you'll be able to review those mistakes again and practicing a lot of problems is one of the best way to prepare for the fe exam and to help you guys with this we've created the jenny prep fe problem set which is a PDF that combines all our YouTube FE problems into one convenient file. It also includes video links to each problem to make it easier for you guys to review the step-by-step -step solution. So if you guys are interested in the FE problem set, you can grab it here. Tip number four, be realistic. If you overload your to-do list, you're unlikely to complete all these tasks, which can lead to frustration, loss of motivation, and eventually stopping altogether. To stay motivated, it's important that you guys celebrate the small wins, like completing all the problems on your list or taking notes during a lecture. So finishing tasks and solving problems give you a sense of accomplishment, which fuels your progress, right? And when you are making progress and you are learning, you get excited and you stay motivated, which helps you stay consistent right? Now, on the other hand, if you're constantly behind, you're not really learning, you're not able to solve the problems on your own, you're going to quickly start to lose motivation and you're going to stop showing up. So it's really important that you guys, if you want to stay motivated and stay consistent, make sure that you guys are being realistic with your tasks, make sure that you are completing them, and then also making sure that you are making progress. Now, as we already discussed, consistency is so important when it comes to preparing for the FE exam. It's the showing up every day and learning bit by bit. It's the small daily steps that make a difference. And you might not notice this progress right away, but over the course of a month or two, you look back and see how far you've come. That sense of progress is incredibly fulfilling. So focus on your day-to-day -day goals, apply the tips we've discussed, and you'll get there. Now, keep in mind, guys, that having the right study resources is so important. If your resources are not effective, it will impact everything. Your study sessions won't be productive, you won't learn as much, and your motivation will gradually fade. Eventually, you might stop studying altogether, or you might take the FE exam and just hope for the best. Your, F, your entire FE preparation 
relies on having good study resources. Now, if you guys are looking for resources to help you pass your FE exam, make sure to check out our courses at jennyprep.com. Our courses are designed to help you have good productive study sessions, stay motivated, stay consistent, and pass your FE exam. Many of our students have passed their FE and their PE exam within a year. Now, if you guys want to learn more about our courses, you can check out this video here where I talk more in depth about our courses to help you decide if it's the right fit for you. Tip number five, review and plan the next day. Before you guys end your study session, spend the last minute reviewing what you covered. This will help reinforce the concepts and the problems, making it easier to retain the information. Also, take a moment to plan what you're going to cover the next day. This way, when you show up tomorrow, everything will be ready and you can start studying right away without wasting any time. So that sums up, guys, the five tips that's going to help you stay consistent, have good productive study sessions, and eventually pass your FE exam. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great productive week, and I will see you guys on the next one. À la prochaine. Oh yeah,